What's going on? Back plugged in again. It's your boy, The Prophet. And so today, man, I got a really special video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve your guild quest scores. Not just how to beat a specific guild quest, but how to improve your overall guild quest scores. We're going to have a lot of tips and tricks in this video. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Make sure you share this with your guild mates. Share this with your people in Facebook groups, Line, Twitter, however you do, man. I'm going to show you how to get a top score in the world. I'm about to get it popping. Hope you enjoyed the content. Let's get it lit. Drop my shit. Shout out to mama, she raised me up single with me and my siblings, the greatest of trios. I do not pop pills, but if I could choose, I would be in the matrix as Jade out the Neo. That, that, that was abrupt. If you feel what I said with the record, let's box it out, then we can check it. Cause I sent your Gmail, aim, then dollop. Hey, yo, L, cause you got a message. Wait, can we take a quick break? Okay, and come back, cause I still got a flex. Yeah, I'm humble and still got a show. I ain't pressed. I don't talk to these hoes, so I send them a text. Back plugged in again. All right, man, so listen, the first thing you want to look at on every guild quest are the rules. This time you have a 1.5 Iran card bonus and a two times bonus to strong attack damage and a 1.5 bonus to ranged enemies. It's hollow and Iran card. So Iran card times 1.5 and strong attack damage. That lets you know that you're going to basically be able to use any Iran card with uh with good strong attack damage any ron car killer with good strong attack damage so um this is one of those guild quests where soy phone she's not even you know the best as far as element but she's so good you still want to use her so i'm going to go over um basically guild quest etiquette right here so um you always want to first start off by having a designated guild quest team meaning that this team is always doing your guild quest for me it's number five um a lot of people it's number three a lot of people it's number five do it whatever slot you want um i have a three of five soy right here as you just saw three of five right there reading the wheat that's extremely important soy is literally the best guild quest character that we have available right now if you have any additional soy phones to add to our super level that'd be a good idea if you're a guild quest player um, take a look at our stats. You see that we have our focus and attack both enabled. Um, about 195 to each one. Uh, as well as we have a good amount of SP added as well. I'm just going to show you guys what happens when you use a Yuki. Right there. You see that our focus just dropped to negative 325. Uh, and our attack just went to a straight zero. Uh, that simply means that anytime you use normal attack damage you're going to get extremely little base damage um i mean really bad like there are a lot of runs where using your normal attack actually makes the run go by faster because you don't have to use a strong attack so um and as well these days your main runner you need attention tie anyways so let's just say you go with max sp which is this build right here yuki gold yuki uh and the um fortification pill uh that gets you the highest sp 170 percent sp which is good but in most cases your sp is going to be more than enough to do what you have to do anyways now right now the meta is in kaizen link because that gives you an additional 40 percent damage to uh, all of your strong attacks on top of an additional 20% damage to your soul bomb. So uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but in Kaizen affects your soul bomb as well. The only time you ever, ever, ever want to remove your focus, meaning use a Yuki or a gold Yuki on, um, on a guild quest on your main runner is if you don't need any normal attacks that run, or if you have a bomber that you don't need attention tie with so if you don't need attention tie you can maybe go ahead and do the 170 sp and uh see how it works for you but um a lot of people are going with the same kaizen link over full recharge because you get quicker damage meaning you have to use less strong attacks so more damage means you have to use less strong attacks which that saves you time now for overall damage, the Frenzy Yodoichi, Frenzy, Byakuya, and Senkaizen Link is hands down the best out there. Even better than Max Link slots. Um, of course, you know, if you want to go 
three Sin Kaisens, which that's pretty insane. But um, this build is incredible for straight DPS uh, with the, um, you know, Frenzy Yonoichi Sin Kaisen and uh, Frenzy Byakia. You'll be able to use characters that you should never be able to and get off clean, smooth um, sweeps with strong attacks where you'll be able to kill at least uh, two to three waves with um, with all of your strong attacks, which is your goal if we're going to use the Sin Kaisen. So um, we'll go ahead and get into our actual build here. Three or five soy, uh, fortification pill, hollow bait, tension tie, all 30, 30, 30. Uh, we do have all three of our level 10 link slots enabled because this is one of those guild quests where soy really shouldn't be used um, but there are there are wrong cards but basically you want to have your character optimized as highly as possible normally i do use the same build the hollow bait pill uh tension tie uh, for my bomber as well but i'm just gonna try it out this way this time all right so we're gonna go ahead and get into our run now first run we're gonna have very minimal resets and um also i'm gonna show you guys as well now look at how my flash step trails go on the screen now this is a perfect example of like normally i would just reset that because i know for a fact i can get past that with one strong attack i kind of overextended myself a little bit now if you guys look at where my hand trails are you see that i'm using once again overshot it a little bit we're not going to reset we're, we're gonna we're gonna keep this here and obviously we're still going to use the best of our strong attacks uh, that guy had a guard so we couldn't just attack him straight up um bam bam we're gonna use our support okay cool that worked out okay so this run we're not gonna do any reset so granted i'm still going pretty damn fast um but just look at like my trails of my flash stepping because this is how i used to flash step i used to use two fingers go right then left right left okay bet we got that perfect i was a little worried there um i'll go right left right left but that actually makes it makes your flash step shorter because you're basically flash stepping i don't know if it's too fast or not in a good rhythm um but basically this is gonna i'm gonna do this exact same run uh casual to my speed and then i'm gonna go you know pretty try hard i guess you'd say so um uh one thing like i said the main thing is my hand positioning i'm doing it like you see there's always there's a flash step on the right then a flash up on the left so oh shit okay so we're gonna reset that that that'll be our first reset we got hit out you know we're gonna reset that anyways let's just say a casual player i mean of course even a casual player you should reset if you get hit i would fucking hope um so okay so this is this has been a zero has been a, a one reset run that was our only reset uh and generally i'll explain this a little bit later but generally you never want to do that you never want to have any time left with your vortex you want to charge him up as much as you can in between the rounds uh ah shit all right <clears throat> one more reset i should just use the first strong attack but i thought he was going to burn out and i could have just <laughs> kicked him um but like if we would have had our focus like if i would have used a yuki then man like i said any of the times where we used our normal attack you would have had to literally do like three normal attack combos to take those enemies out and by that time your strong attacks cool down anyway so you're literally just throwing time out the window um but with this particular run combo is weird so uh you're gonna have a couple extra seconds left look how fast my tt ichigo is thanks to the uh ryu um anyways boop 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 beat him up okay switch out bombed at 977 and boop all right so cool all right so we'll see what our score is i'm actually eager because i've been getting a 179 uh like low kind of so we'll see 131 so 177.5 so a 177.5 right like five orbs not bad not bad All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and try the run, uh, basically going, uh, going try hard, going, you know, going like I would go 
I'm gonna reset anytime, you know, like I would normally do. Normally I would reset that damn near cause I freaking bumped the, the wall, but my time is still the same. Uh, six seconds into the map, which, damn, no worry. Okay, got the third and move forward a little bit. Second and then the first, perfect. Okay, so, and also notice that now my flash steps, that like I'm, I can already tell that I'm moving faster. You see my flash steps are now in one straight line and they're all on the right side of the screen. So um, when I switched up how I, when I got more comfortable with flash stepping with one hand, um, I was able to uh, mirror runs a lot better. Uh, before I would always be losing time. See, nope, I'm reset. Yeah, see, um, I didn't get them in one strong attack, which I know I can, bam, bam, got that. Okay, good. Um, So, I, like I said, I'm only like you see. You see how my flash step trails are with one hand solidly. Um, I'm not using two hands anymore. Uh, that was actually slowing me down. It felt much faster, but I was slowing down. I was losing distance on my flash step. So um, you guys can literally look at the clips of the first video and you see my hand trails, right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right. Um, I'm literally everything is on the right side of the screen now and I'm moving much faster. Uh, as you can see, I'm already at the last room with a lot faster pace, so. Um, and like I said, generally, you, you never, this is like an actually um, a weird guild quest compared to most others, but um, bam. I mean, this run, it feels way faster. Already 10 seconds faster from what I can look at. Um, even I did the last room better. Bam, bam, bam. And uh, using your, okay, I bombed a little bit later this time around, actually. I bombed like 10 hits later, but that's fine. So I maybe could have saved another second. That would have been cool. But we'll see what we're at. Hopefully, I get that 179 that I've been averaging. 179.3. See, that's my best run. I just improved. I literally just improved on my best run of the day just by doing the tips that, that I suggested. Um... This is a completely separate run. This is actually my fastest run uh, or my highest scoring run of all time. Uh, the other, the last thing about um, how to advance your guild quest score, you either have to be extremely patient or extremely innovative. If you're not one of the guys that makes runs and gets a higher score and like helps people get higher scores, don't do your ticket as soon as the guild quest drops. Literally, that's when all the 174, all the 172, all the 173, all the 175 Ks happen. That's when all of them happen right when the guild quest drops. People are using two or three tickets. Oh, I, I improved on my run. I got a 175. I started out with a 173. It's like, no, you could have waited to the end of the day and got a 177K. Like, trust me, all of the best guild quest runners, they generally wait till later on in the day, okay? Um, not always, but you know, the thing is, if you're one of the dudes that's doing runs first, you better be damn good and you better know it. So, um, you know, also, man, sometimes you have to be inventive. You have to be very inventive. You know, you gotta be willing to try, you know, a ticket, but you also have to know, hey, uh, this is gonna require a lot of time. You know, I'm gonna need some time to, to try and get this down. I wanna get my strategy perfect. And um, if you do try something and it works, then there you go. Um, a lot of times you, you wanna copy someone else's run. You don't just wanna go in just willy nilly. You wanna wait until there are people that post videos on YouTube, every single guild quest within an hour or two after it coming out, their videos that show you the vortex spots or the bomb uh in a couple of strategies so everyone has a different look at that uh 183.550 that is uh at this time number 67 in the world all time guild quest top high score um so you know that run i was very inventive you know i had to try a strategy that i hadn't seen i had to build combo with um someone that wasn't tt ichigo or tt retsu so 
you know um sometimes you gotta throw some wrinkles in there and be inventive but you gotta be patient and know it's gonna take some resets and uh you know um, it's gonna take some patience but i hope these tips uh led you guys to some improvement um i think i'm gonna have another part of this video so let me know if there's any tips that you guys want to see in there specifically but i won't keep you too much longer please like share and subscribe share with your guild facebook twitter anywhere you can man just to get the awareness out prophet nation i love y'all i'm out this mother